Let us see about effect of source inductance on the performance of single phase fully controlled rectifier. So this is the single phase fully controlled rectifier or full bridge rectifier. You have four thigh resistors T1, T2, T3 and T4. This is the output voltage waveform which we have seen earlier. So this is source voltage Vs and this is the output voltage that is output voltage across the load. We can see here T1 and T2 thigh resistors are triggered at alpha and at pi plus alpha T3 and T4 are turned on and T1, T2 conducts from alpha to pi plus alpha. When T3 and T4 are turned on at pi plus alpha, T1 and T2 gets turned off naturally because of the reversal of voltage. So here it T1, T2 gets turned off automatically. Similarly, when T3 and T4 are conducting, when T1 and T2 are turned on at 2 pi plus alpha, these two devices get turned off automatically. So this is the output of a single phase full bridge converter. But when you have a source inductance, this output changes. This is what we are going to see in this video. So you can see here there is a inductance. Actually this source in practical circuits have a impedance that is inductor and a resistor will be there. But resistive component is very small so it is normally neglected and only inductance is taken into account. So now we are going to see how this inductance affects the performance of this single phase converter. When you have this source inductance, there will be a period at which T1, T2, T3, T4, all the four devices will conduct together. So let us see the past half cycle. So plus minus is here. So T1 and T2 are turned on at alpha. So this is the current path. During negative half cycle, so this is minus, this is plus. So T3 and T4 conducts. So T3 load T4 will conduct like this. So this is during negative half cycle. So let us assume that initially T3 and T4 are conducting. Now the cycle has reversed. So it has become plus minus. And when T1 and T2 are given gate pulse at alpha, these two devices will not turn off automatically. Instead, it continues to conduct for some more time and this T1 and T2 by that time will start conduction. So if you see at one period, all four devices will be in conduction. This period during which all four devices are conducting is called overlap period. So this is the equivalent circuit. You can see that source inductance to thigh resistor T1 and T2. So this is one path. And you have another path, source voltage inductance T3, T4. So this is connected parallel to the load. So during overlap period, this is the equivalent circuit. Let us write the equation now. So V1 minus L into DI1 by DT is equal to this one because 
both the branches are parallel so this voltage should be equal to this voltage so v1 minus l into di1 by dt equal to v2 minus l into di2 by dt bring the common terms here so v1 minus v2 is equal to l into di1 by dt minus di2 by dt now what is v1 what is v2 v1 is equal to vm sin omega t then v2 is minus vm sin omega t so apply this one simplify it you will get this equation let it mark it as 1 now again you have two currents right kirchhoff's current law i1 plus i2 equal to i0 so differentiate this one if you differentiate a constant it becomes zero so this is zero so already you got two equations first and two add these two equations so this term gets cancelled so di1 by dt is equal to vm sin omega t by l now integrate this one because we have to find what is i1 so i1 is equal to integral of i1 changes from 0 to i0 and this limit we can see how we are getting this limit from the waveform so this is v1 draw v2 so t1 and t2 are triggered at alpha let us take alpha as 30 degree so t1 and t2 are triggered here so t3 and t4 will be triggered at 180 plus alpha that is 210 degree here now let us draw the i naught waveform so t1 and t2 are turned on at alpha so current start increasing slowly so in the previous case that is without source inductance current will rise like this like this but in this case due to the presence of source inductance current increases gradually okay. similarly when t3 and t4 are turned on current will not become zero abruptly instead it takes times to come to zero if you draw off the current for t3 and t4 it is triggered at 210 so it starts to rise gradually and then reaches its maximum value and similarly when t1 and t2 are turned on this current i2 decreases gradually so if you see this period there are two currents in opposite direction so this is called overlap period mu overlap period is denoted by this letter mu let us draw the output voltage waveform so write uh, v1 and v2 take a pen okay so t1 and t2 this current starts here so current starts here flows till this point and it will be zero during the overlap period here also overlap period is there okay so this is the output voltage waveform so t1 and t2 will start at this point when current reaches its maximum value you follow v1 waveform till pi plus alpha this so this period is alpha and this is alpha plus mu because you add this mu so it becomes alpha plus mu so this is from previous equation now you can write the limits for this voltage equation 
pm sin omega t by l into what's the period this is overlap period also alpha to alpha plus mu is this point so alpha to alpha plus mu since i have taken dt here you have to divide by omega here so if it is d omega t no need of this omega since it is dt you have to write omega here so from this you can find what is i not so integrate this you will get what is i not from this you find what is cos alpha plus mu just simplify it you will get this equation because this is required for the next derivation so i have found this one here itself next we will derive the average output voltage expression so v not is equal to 1 by pi so alpha plus mu to alpha plus pi this is the limit or this is the limit for which output voltage will be available vm sin omega t into df omega t so integrate this you will get this as expression but we have derived this already from the previous ex expression take this one and substitute this one you will get v not is equal to 2 vm by pi cos alpha minus this term so this one is the output voltage for a single phase uh, full wave uh, rectifier without any source inductance now you are getting one additional term this is due to the presence of source inductance so we can write uh, draw the circuit like this is for full converter without source inductance in that you are getting one more term which is subtracted here so we can consider this as a voltage drop so this is a voltage drop from the total voltage if you sub, uh, subtract you will get v not so due to the presence of source inductance the resistor will not commutate instantaneously so there will be a period during which all four the resistors will conduct the average output voltage of the converter decreases as a result of this commutation overlap these are some of the references and if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle thank you